Hi, I'm Sabrina Gayor and I'm here in this beautiful One Fine Stay home in central London. I'm going to show you three fantastic simple recipes and a smashing cocktail to put together that's going to make your feasting go without a hitch. This is my stunning white bean cumin and orange dip. It is perfect for Christmas and the festive season and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to put it together. So now I'm going to make that delicious white bean dip. I've got my beans here, strained of their liquid. I've got some garlic, really important. Give it a gentle tap. Just want a couple of cloves. Hummus is lovely and I absolutely love it, but sometimes I like to do something a little bit different and this white bean dip flavoured with deep earthy cumin and also the zing of orange really fits in with the flavours of the festive season beautifully. Season it really well. This is super, super important and I like a lot of pepper, good quality sea salt. Give everything a bit of a mix. That is the dip blitzed. I'm just going to get it back into this bowl. Now it's a little thicker than I'd still like, but that's ideal because I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of orange juice that not only is going to give it a burst of citrus, but also a gentle sweetness that really, really complements that cumin beautifully. So I've got the orange that I zested earlier. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a squeeze, not too much. And then once you're happy with the consistency, I tend to like something a little bit chunky. I don't like completely smooth dips. I want a bit of texture. Then here I've got a little bit of parsley. I'm going to chop this finely as best I can. I'm going to take most of the parsley and put it into the bowl. I like this combination of radishes, cauliflower, broccoli and carrots. Nice and easy. You can also do anything you like or just toasted pita breads. Got my bowl in the middle. I'm going to get the dip in. Sit. Now, a couple of things, a little flourish of olive oil, but first, I'm going to make it a little smoother. Lovely. A little bit of parsley on top. There we have it. Gorgeous cannellini, white bean, cumin, and orange dip. The perfect dish for Christmas entertainment. my delicious harissa and honey cocktail sausages. Probably one of the easiest things you're gonna make at your festive feast this year, and I'm gonna show you how to make them. Now, this is literally one of my favorite things to serve before the Christmas feast, purely because I love sausages. It's that great British tradition, but also, more importantly, it's not too heavy before a meal. Take your sausages off the tray, now, two ingredients, just two ingredients. I've got some honey, and I'm gonna go in with two good tablespoons, and I've got my secret ingredient, and that's really the winner here. It's rose harissa. Now, for those of you that don't know what rose harissa is, it's nothing more than a North African chili paste, but it's really intense and aromatic and the chili, whilst hot, doesn't feel unpleasant, but is the perfect marriage with the sweet honey and the sausages. So for two tablespoons of honey, I'm just gonna go in with one tablespoon of Teresa. Little pinch of salt, not too much. And all you're gonna do is just lightly coat them in the Harissa and honey mixture. There we go, super simple honey and harissa cocktail sausages. Perfect snack for any festive feast. I'm gonna show you how to make these delicious spiced crab bites. Now, I've served them in an assortment of ways on different colored chicory, but also on little crisp breads, and you can do them however you like. So I've got some fresh picked white crab meat. Now, you can get that from your fishmongers or buy it from any supermarket ready-made. I've got some fresh dill. I've got a little very small chopped shallot, really finely. I've got half an avocado, finely chopped. 
Um, I've got a little bit of pomegranate seeds that's going to give it a lovely sweet burst, which I'm going to pair with a lovely little spice here I have called Pulba Bear. It's a milder chilli flake, but it adds wonderful pep to this particular dish. And then I've got a lemon, which I'm going to zest. Just use the zest of and a tiny little squeeze of the juice, but nothing more than a tiny little squeeze. I've got an assortment of vessels to serve it in. So I've got chicory or endive, both in red and uh, yellow, which is really, really lovely and light and perfect as a little carrier for the crab. First things first, got a little bit of the crab meat in here. Gonna take some dill, some of the avocado, straight in with the shallots. Now, a little bit of salt, good amount of pepper. Then I'm gonna go in with this lovely soft chili flake. And then I've got some pomegranate seeds. I also like to keep a few back for garnishing. And then zest of lemon not too much. Don't want it to be too lemony, just a little squeeze, that's it. Just to freshen things up, okay? Now I've got this little paddle here. I'm gonna give everything a mix. Final ingredient that's gonna help me just bind it and keep it in place. I've got a little bit of creme fraiche. You don't have to go full fat if you want to. You don't need too much. I'm just gonna use it to bind and bring the ingredients together so it sits nicely on our carriers. I'm going to show you the most deliciously simple cocktail that you will be serving to everybody this festive season and they're gonna love it. Even better, it's going to make you look like the world's best mixologist when really it's quickly cobbled together and you didn't have to do too much, but we won't tell anyone. I like to just start it off in a jug, filled it with ice, got some vodka, got some cloudy apple juice, I've also got some pomegranate seeds for a bit of colour and a pop of flavour, I've got lime which I'm just going to juice and I've got some fresh mint leaves and here's some rather beautiful festive looking straws to serve. So, first things first, vodka. I like to be generous. I want people to have a good time. Next, we go in with the apple juice. And with that, that's your cocktail. I kid you not, it's really simple. But, we're going to give it a few final flourishes. So, I want a good squeeze of lime. Then I'm going to take some mint and just pick some leaves and pop them in each glass. Pomegranate seeds, again, generous. Gives it real Christmas colors as well. I wanna put people in the spirit of the festive season. Give the cocktail a good stir and carefully pour them when you're ready to serve to your guests. Right, now all I'm going to do is just use the straws to give all those ingredients a stir, cool the drink down and also just muddle it one last time. They really are absolutely delicious but also a little bit wicked. Here you have it, perfect cocktail for your festive season. My apple and vodka coolers with lime, mint and pomegranate. Just in time for the guests. Just in time for the guests. Ready to go. Merry Christmas.